Welcome to qualifying in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The teams are making their last minute adjustments before the lights go green and the fight for pole position can get underway. Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about the scientist. As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Bottas, Sergio Perez, and Gasly, Verstappen, Stroll, Raikkonen, and Daniel Ricciardo, Weber, Magnussen, Devon Butler, and Hulkenberg. 
Norris, Sainz, George Russell and Alexander Elbon. Grosjean, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And the scientist. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. OK, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. as you leave the pits. Exit, exit now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. We've moved up into P18. Yellow flag. 
Someone's come up ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Some information on Strong. They're retiring from the race. Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Roman Grosjean's my driver of the day. I don't think I've ever seen such a strong performance from him. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Scraped the walls a few times, were you struggling for grip? Appreciate your time. Our proposal has been accepted. The new contract will take effect from the next race weekend. <laughs> 